Dave Barry here alongside National Recruiting Director Adam Gorney. Adam, you have some news on five-star quarterback Juju Lewis, currently committed to USC, but what else are you hearing is going on there? Yeah, he's been committed for a very long time here, but his recruitment continues to stay very busy. I've been told that by the time his first game rolls around, which is this, which is this weekend, they wanted to have sort of a final decision made, whether that was sticking with USC, which has seemed likely, um, or flipping to either Indiana or Colorado. It looks like Auburn is sort of fading here, but might not be totally out. Now, if Deuce Knight, who's committed to Notre Dame, uh, there's a lot of dominoes here, but if Deuce Knight, who is committed to Notre Dame, flips to Auburn, then obviously Auburn has their quarterback. But Ole Miss is not making this one easy and is continuing to go after Knight, who is from uh, from Mississippi. So that is something to watch. Now, you know, there's been some rumors and stuff about Indiana in recent days. We'll see. I mean, from one side, I've been told, like, maybe this is an NIL play to squeeze some money out. Who knows? We'll see how that kind of plays out. Um, but he's been committed to USC for so long. Not only that, but it is a massive jump for a kid to not play for Lincoln Riley um, who is basically the quarterback whisperer of college football, number one picks, Heisman Trophy winners, surrounds the team in an offense where the quarterback really cannot miss and then has a lot of skill players there in Los Angeles. Um, that is a very easy flight for the Lewis family to make from Atlanta um, if there isn't a relocation consideration there. Now, Indiana is interesting. Uh, I've been told that there's... A little bit guarded optimism, not exactly like they think it's happening, but uh, the relationship is continuing to be built. Um, They're going to keep going after the kid. And it's obviously a situation where he can step in day one um, and be the guy in Bloomington. But there are certainly concerns. You know, new coach Kurt Signetti has won at James Madison, uh, but this is a totally different sort of animal going to the Big Ten. where where a seven and five season, I've been told, is, is going to be a great season. So I, I, you know, there are still definitely moving parts here. Um, Indiana is definitely involved. Colorado cannot be counted out because Juju and his family both really respect the job Deion Sanders has done, and especially the staff that they've been put put in place there with Pat Shermer being the new offensive coordinator. Um but I suspect that USC is still very, very uh, solid here in strong position and that this could be a little you know, bit of uh, movement here going into a final decision time. All right. A very fluid story and something to keep our eyes on and a lot of interest there with, with interesting schools in the mix for Juju Lewis. So keep it locked to Rivals.com. We'll, we will be following this story as it unfolds. Thanks, Gorney. Okay.